Hey there guys, like PC guy here and I'll be showing you how to do logs in World of Warcraft. Now logs are basically combat logs, usually from a boss or a mythic plus fights, that let you analyze the fight, see what people have been doing, how did they do and how did they perform, what happened, and that sort of thing. And they are sometimes used by top guilds to basically uh, check their applicants to see who is worth uh, taking to their A team or not. The most important log site is warcraftlogs.com so I'll be showing you how to do logs, how to upload them and all that sort of thing. For starters you want to head to Warcraft Logs and create an account or log in. Normally you can log in via your Battle.net account, it's safe, they're not going to steal your password or anything. So you can just log in there and you are set on that end. Next up you want to head to curseforge.com and get a Twitch client or simply Google Twitch client on uh, your browser, whatever floats your boat. You download this so it will be a lot easier for you to download an add-on that makes it a lot easier to log. An alternative to using an add-on is just manually typing slash combat log on your chat when you want to start logging and typing slash combat log again when you want to stop. However, this is a bit uh, unhandy because you could forget to do it and then you have no logs at all. Uh, as well as if you, for example, DC or crash or anything of the sort, you need to do it again, which again, you can very easily forget. Once you have it installed, click on the Get More Add-ons tab and search for Loggerhead. I recommend Loggerhead because what it does is whenever you go into an instance, it will give you a pop-up asking you if you want to log that instance or not, and it will every time you walk in after that, it will automatically log any fights that are done on that instance, so you will not have to actually do the logging yourself manually. There are other add-ons that offer this functionality as well, although I recommend this one in case you don't want to be installing other add-ons with more stuff, because it does just this, it's small, lightweight, and it won't be bugging you for other things. Something you also have to do is head to System, and then Network on your game menu, and turn on Advanced Combat Logging, otherwise it won't record the logs properly, and they will be unusable by the website. In order to get the logs uploaded, you will need a WorkFox client that you get at their site slash client slash download. It will let you upload to their site, you can just download it and install it. Once you have it, you can upload your log. As you can see, there is an option to live log, so you just start the program, click here, and it will upload it manually, although I personally tend to forget, so that's why I have not mentioned it yet, but the option is there. To upload the log, just click on upload log, and you will have to choose the folder where you have it. Normally it's in your installation directory as you can see, slash retail, slash logs, and you'll find combat log.txt, just select it and be done with it. If it contains more than one day of hating, you will have to split it. Split the log by doing here, split it, it will split the combat log, which is a fairly quick process, and then you will be able to upload the combat log part that you actually need. To do that, instead of choosing the combat log, just choose the part that you need there. As you can see, you can check the date and time that they were logged. So just pick the one you need and open that one instead. You can choose to make it private or public and all that sort of thing, and which raid parts to upload. If there are multiple, just hit go and it will be uploading the combat logs. Once that is done, the log is available to view. Feel free to delete the combat log file afterwards on your PC, because otherwise it will be taking up a lot of space if you keep saving them over time. So uh, make sure to keep that uh, folder a bit on the emptier side, especially if you're restrained in terms of storage. In, either, in any case, the log will be available to view and to analyze and for you to uh, pick through and check what you did, what you did better, what you did worse, and how you can improve another sort of thing. Now, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. This is Attic PC Guy here. Like and subscribe if it has been useful to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.